Don't order this one. You don't have to drink it. <laughs> this is part two of our food series here in Osaka, Japan. In our last video, we ate our way around Dotenbori, which is known for its incredible and iconic street food. In this video, we are stepping out of the touristy hotspot and heading to a more local area of the city. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another video here in Osaka. So today we're heading about 20 minutes out of Dotenbori to a area called Tenma. It's supposed to be a more local area. It's well known for its food and izakaya bars. morning we're going to a Japanese curry house here in Tenma. Curry is not something we normally would have for breakfast but when in Japan why not? I love ordering on these ticket machines and then just handing it to the chef. Right the panic's already starting to set in. I think I ordered it with a raw egg on top. Whoops. <laughs> so we just confirmed it was a raw egg. So we cancelled that and changed it to a pork cutlet instead. Okay. Alright, we we so we went with the king and queen curry. I think this is the king and this is the queen. The king curry is a lot spicier. That's the spicy. So that's the king. This is the queen. The curry itself actually has beef in it. I won't try that. The Queen. I'll save that for the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste mm. more of a gravy? Yes, that's what it tastes like. Like a beef gravy. It's super rich. Christy's about to try the spicy one. It's not, I was going to say it's not as spicy as what I thought it would be. But it is. It definitely is. Ooh. So katsu means a deep fried cutlet of meat. So we think this is pork, tonkatsu. Oh my god. How nice is the pork? So fresh. Alright, we're gonna finish this and move on to our next spot. Arigato, Arigato. 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 So next up we're heading to a bakery. We were gonna save this for later in the day, but our other spot that we're going isn't open yet. It opens in another 45 minutes. So we're going to head to a little Italian bakery, I think just a couple blocks over. So this is actually the longest shopping strip in all of Japan called Tenchenbashi Suji and it's 2.6 kilometers long. So this is apparently where the pastry shop is, is it? We've got a canolo as well. We love those. But we're here for the sfogliatelle. Sfoggia, sfog, I don't know. <laughs> we'll put it on the screen because I don't think we've ever known how to pronounce this properly. Yeah. But we first had this in Naples. And we've never actually found it ever since we've left Naples. So no, we haven't. I don't know if, if it's a Italian dessert that is specific to Naples. I think so. There is actually a shop in Melbourne on Brunswick Street that has it. Sydney yeah, Road. We might have to try it. All right. I'm gonna give it a taste test. The first thing I notice is that it's not as creamy as the one in Naples. It's more like a cake. And um, it does have the citrus little pieces in it as well, so. Mm. Mm. It's got hundreds of layers of pastry, exactly the same as we saw in Italy. Honestly, that's exactly how I remember it. Really? cheesy citrusy inside when I say cheesy it's more of a sweet cheese and those pastry layers they just crack and crunch in your mouth so nice so we've got about an hour an hour and a half to kill before our next food place but seeing as though we are on the longest shopping strip in Japan then I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to find something to do along here yeah, I believe so. So 
you walk in and it's basically a whole shop full of ready-made meals and I think they've got a microwave and whatever you need to heat it up and then you go out the back and eat there. So we're just strolling around the back streets of the area in Tenma and there's this little takoyaki place. Apparently the lady is 90 something years old and she's been here for over 70 years making the same takoyaki and they are a little bit different to the ones that you'd normally find in a typical takoyaki place here. They're bright yellow and I believe the reason that they are yellow is because she puts egg in the batter. So let's give them a try. Do you want to do the honours? Yeah. So these are a lot cheaper than we had in the other video in Dot Brewery. These were, I'm trying to read the sign, 300 yen for 10. We paid about 800 yen for 8. Mm -hmm. That's probably wrong, but let's give them a go. They're a bit more solid inside. They actually feel like they're cooked more than the ones we had the other day, like they're not gooey and battery inside. They've got more of a charcoal taste too. I don't know if you can see, they're a bit charred on the outside. Oh yeah. Like that one, that one's really charred. Yeah. I don't think they're as fresh because she had these pre-wrapped up ready to go, where yesterday we grabbed them straight off the hot plate or grill, or whatever you call that thing with holes in that they cook them in. And the lady was adorable. She was so cute. So while we're exploring the area and trying to kill some time, we've come along this vending machine. We haven't ever seen one of these before, so I'm not sure what's in it. 200 yen, let's give it a go. I'm gonna just get the cheapest one. Steve was saying that he thinks it might be sake. I think, but because I have no internet, oh, that one's out, so I have to get that one. Because I have no internet, we're not sure, we can't use Google Translate. Inside was wet. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> yuck. And a little oh, shot good. glass. Let's crack it open. I'm so interested to know what it is. Yeah, Do you sucky. shot it or sip it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely sake. It's not the nicest sake I've ever tasted before. Can I have a taste? A smell, at least. It doesn't smell like much. Uh, I'm just going to lick it. Oh, rocket fuel. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, no, thank you. Let me let me have a second taste because <laughs> generally sake is better for me on the second taste. No. It doesn't get any better on the second <laughs> taste. <laughs> so I can confirm this vending machine here sells sake. Don't order this one. <laughs> Wasn't that good? <laughs> oh. Alright, continuing on. So we're really feeling like gyozas, so we've come down to Chow Chow Gyozas in Tenma. Let's head inside, I'm pretty sure they're open. We're here a little early. Yum, who doesn't love gyozas? Alright, so the menu's all in Japanese, so I'm not sure exactly what we've ordered, but I think we've ordered two of the signature dumplings. Not sure what's in those, that doesn't actually say on the menu. We've used Google Translate and it just says signature. We've also ordered some shrimp and some ginger. So, very excited. What's so funny? <laughs> no, I don't, know, I don't know. It's the afternoon, I'm getting delirious. Yeah. Do you want to say why you actually chose this place? Because there are a million gyoza places here in Osaka, but Steve chose this place because... I literally jumped on Google Maps <laughs> and saw it and saw these. <laughs> on the picture when they look good. Is that what you that's did? All. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, that's the reason why. So zero research. We also have four condiments or sauces on the table. We've got chili oil, soy ginger, miso, and then the last one is this one here, which Google Translate said mustard, but it's more of a chili paste. The chef said this one's the very hot one. I'll try that one. We'll see how Christy goes. Okay. 
They remind me of like ribs, like spare ribs. Oh yeah, they look like it, don't they? So as you can see, we've already eaten some. These are so good. Still not 100% sure what's inside them. I think it's a combination of pork, prawn, and like spring onion, but they are tiny. So that's three of them compared to, so they're about half the size of the other ones. But I really like them in the miso. Miso sauce, really thin pastry. Right, take two. Really thin pastry. They nearly just melt in your mouth. And the way they're cooked, they've got like this charred sort of bottom where they're all stuck together. We ordered two serves of these. I could probably eat four by myself. Because you just grab them, three at a time, dip them in your sauce, throw them in your mouth. These are 10 out of 10. I think we're gonna finish off these and head to the next spot. All right, so we're heading to the last stop of the day. It's a brewery called Beer Belly. Christy's got the phone navigating, so hopefully we don't get lost. I think we are lost. I found it. See, I didn't get us lost this time. Hopefully it's open. So I ended up getting a tea, which I've already drank. What and did you I get? I went for a pale ale. So we originally came here because I read that they have 14 different beers on tap from the Minnow Brewery. But today being a Monday afternoon, they only had two on tap, one a stout and two a pale ale. I think they'll bleach right from the weekend, to be honest. Yeah. And it kind of gives us the vibe of a cozy little English pub. I don't know if it's because of the dark wood or like the lighting but it yeah it feels really cute and really cozy very english menu too with mm -hmm. bangers and mash fish and chips i think a shepherd shepherd's pie was on yep. there as well but i think we're going to finish these and head off that does it for our day in tenma we yeah. really like this neighborhood it feels very authentic it's still got the hustle and bustle and vibrancy of dot and bori just scaled down quite a few notches. I feel like it would go off more in the afternoons, like later once the sun goes down. It's yes. more of a sort of Night bar, place. nightlife area. Yeah. Not really a Monday afternoon or a Monday yeah, during no. business hours. <laughs> Definitely not. But this is also the last Japan video for us. We've Sadly, spent the yeah. last five weeks here and we absolutely love this country. We will definitely be back. Um, but we're heading to South Korea next, so we're going to be spending a few weeks there. Yep, and then off to Taiwan. Yep, off to Taiwan. Yeah. We'll see you there. Alright, see you next time. Bye. Bye. So we're really feeling like Goza, so we're here at Chow Chow. <laughs> <laughs> My idea of a perfect way to kill time is coming to a pharmacy or a drugstore or like anywhere that sells stuff like this. I could get lost in this for hours. Cheesecake? Yeah. Is it cheesecake or sponge cake? It was more like sponge cake. Yeah. I kind of want it again. It was Should we good. get something else? McDonald's? Uh, not today. <laughs>